Do you really need to use a spacer with your inhaler? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about what is a spacer, how it works, and whether you need to use one with your inhaler. My name is Jignesh Sangani. I am a practice pharmacist that specializes in asthma and COPD. If you want to learn more about asthma or COPD, I'd recommend you hit the subscribe button below. So what's the problem with using an inhaler like this? Well, if you have a look, when I press this inhaler, you can see it releases a fine mist spray and that spray comes out fast. Uh, one of the big challenges with using a meter dose inhaler is that the spray comes out too fast to inhale it properly. There's a study that shows that as little as 20% of the medicine from a meter dose inhaler reaches deep into the airways. And that means as much as 80% of the medicine is staying in the mouth or hitting the throat. If you think about it, if you could get more of your medicine from this inhaler reaching deep into your airways, how much better would your inhaler work? So what is a spacer? Well, a spacer is a simple plastic tube uh, like this, which attaches to a meter dose inhaler. So an inhaler that looks like this, they fit like so. Using a spacer also leads to uh, less medicine staying in the mouth because of the improved inhaler technique. This reduces the risk of mouth related side effects, which are particularly important with steroid inhalers. So what does a spacer do? Well, a spacer slows down the medication spray and holds it in the tube. This gives you time to inhale the medicine and allow it to go deep into your airways. So should you use a spacer with your inhaler? Well, it depends. If you have a dry powder inhaler or a breath actuated inhaler, these are inhalers that only work when you suck the medicine in, then no. Uh, these type of inhalers are not designed to be used with a spacer. If, however, you have a metered dose inhaler like this, then yes. Why? Well, using a spacer with a metered dose inhaler increases the chances that your medicine can reach deep into your airways where you want it to go and reduces the risk uh, of your medicine staying in your mouth or hitting the back of your throat where you don't want it to go. So if you think about it, using a spacer uh, can help make your inhaler work better and at the same time reduce the risk of side effects. So how do you use a spacer properly? Well, before I talk about this, if you want to uh, check on how well your asthma is controlled, I'd recommend you uh, visit the link in the description below. You'll find uh, free resources to help you assess your asthma control and learn more about asthma. Now, if you want to know how to use a spacer properly, I'd recommend you check out this video over here.